Hello, my name is Michael Nuzzo and I am an orthopedic surgeon in Fresno, California. This slideshow will talk about hip arthroscopy and indications and capabilities. Hip arthroscopy is the fastest growing procedure in sports medicine. It's where the knee was in the 1980s and the shoulder was in the 1990s. Our focus mainly today will be on femoral acetabular impingement and the associated labrum tears and chondral injuries. And we'll give a case example at the end. What is femoral acetabular impingement? It's essentially impingement between the femoral head and the acetabulum or cup in the hip. It's caused by uh, abnormal shape of the bones. There's three different types. There's cam, pincer, and combined. The cam is the most common and the cam gets its name from the definition of a cam which is a projection on a rotating part. It's essentially extra bone on the hip that causes impingement. This extra bone when it rotates up into the hip causes damage to a structure called the labrum which is like a gasket around the hip and the cartilage at the top of the hip and ultimately uh, this can cause tears in the labrum and chondral damage. The labrum serves an important function in the hip. It helps to distribute load and decrease contact stressors on the articular surface and provides a seal for the joint. Uh, the first step in diagnosing it is an MRI arthrogram. And if a tear is identified, it generally necessitates surgery to repair it. The surgery is performed arthroscopically or through small incisions and with a camera. In this case example, this is a 17-year-old female who has had impingement and hip pain. A ultrasound-guided MRI was performed in our office and identified a substantial labrum tear in the hip and she was taken to surgery to repair the tear. This is uh, just an example of fluoroscopic guidance uh, to enter the hip. And these are our videos from our intraoperative procedure. And here you can see the loose cartilage. We are uh, debriding the undersurface of the labrum tear in these images with a shaver. You can see the labrum to the left on the image. Uh, she also had cartilage damage and we are removing some of this cartilage in her hip with a shaver. And after that this cartilage was completely removed, we probed the labrum further. Here you can see us identifying the complete separation of the labrum and then we proceeded with a repair of the labrum by placing suture anchors in the superior acetabulum. Here you see a suture anchor entering the bone and ultimately sutures were passed around the labrum. Um, there were two sutures in this instance used um, and the arthroscopic knots were tied superiorly to repair it. And here is our repair after those knots were tied. Here we're probing the labrum for stability. And you can see that it is secured back to the bone. In this case, because of the large defect in her cartilage, we performed a procedure called a microfracture, which is a cartilage regenerative procedure. And now at this point you see the uh, microfracture completed along with the repaired labrum. Uh, we are looking around the remainder of the joint. The remainder of her cartilage was in excellent condition except for this one area of damage. In these images we are using a motorized burr to resect the cam lesion on the femoral head and neck that was the cause of the uh, intraarticular damage. 
and the point here is to prevent any further impingement in the future. Thank you.